I felt like we started the power play really well today. I was really happy with that. I just felt that the middle period we didn't look after it that much. We lost too many wickets in the middle period. We didn't get any partnerships. Um, we always spoke about building partnerships and kind of playing that brand of cricket that we wanted to play. So unfortunately, we didn't play that today. Didn't feel like we had enough runs on the board. And then coming onto ball, I didn't think we hit our lengths. And with the player like Sophie Devine hitting those lengths, they, we had to bowl tight lengths. And unfortunately, we didn't. So all credit to New Zealand. They played really well today. Yeah, look, it was. Um, we certainly spoke after the one day series that we wanted to come out and, and make a real mark on this this game, this format, and, and pleasing to do so. We know how strong the South African side has been and they've certainly showed us the depth that they've got in their squad, so we knew we were going to have to play our best cricket to come out with a win today. No, it was really good. I was happy that they got a chance to get out in the middle. It's been a while since they played, so I think that we also have to look at options, especially going to the T20 World Cup, so these next four games you have to make sure that there's different options that we do have, so I'm happy they got a chance to go up in the middle. Unfortunately, hard luck on our side today, but maybe they got a chance out in the middle. Yeah, look, it was great. I thought we actually did really well to pick it back. I thought South Africa probably looked on target for about 140 or 150. So the bowlers in the middle of that, of that innings were fantastic. I thought spin was great. And then with the bat, it was really awesome to see Rachel Priest back at the top of the order doing her thing. Yeah, look, I think that's our natural style of play. It doesn't matter how many runs we're chasing. That's the way myself and Rachel Priest go about our cricket, whether it's a small total or a big total. And, and that's sort of the way that I think we want to play our T20 cricket is be aggressive from the top and put the pressure back on the fielding side. I think it's just basics. I felt like we just didn't take the responsibility to the bat and build those partnerships. I think if we just do those basics well, I don't think we need to change much of that. I think we played really good series so far, especially in the ODI. So we have to make sure that we bounce back in the, in the T20s. But um, I think the girls obviously know what has happened and they know they definitely want to bounce back. I know the bowlers are very disappointed. But yeah, there's another day to play cricket and hopefully we can rectify all our mistakes. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's a great thing. We've got four more matches in this format. I think against South Africa, who's a great side, and it's perfect build-up for the World Cup for us, leading into you know a really strong competition where anyone can win on their day. So we know that we're going to have to string performances together, just like in a World Cup. You can't just have one good game. You need to back it up game and game again. The three World Cup players, and unfortunately they couldn't play today, but at the end of the day, we are on tour for two months, and we have to make sure that all our players are, are fully fit, um, especially going to a World Cup. And so you have to make sure that the workloads are... Uh, well looked after so I'm happy that they got a chance to race today. Hopefully more players can but I'm happy they got a chance to race today so we'll make sure we get to the World Cup we are awfully foot team.